Yeah, trust is such an important, um, in, it's so important in life to have trust. And uh, uh, so without it, life becomes super restrictive. Uh, we trusted our close friends and neighbors uh, and they trusted us. Uh, once we had a, um, our neighbor had a uh, birthday party for her teenage daughter and she, um, she was, she had cancer and, and she had gathered all her strength to throw this party and we were in there, there were music, there was dancing, there was men and women together, which that was a big no-no um, during this, this uh, restriction. And uh, it ended up, the, it got raided. Um, the men in, in wind fatigues and Kalashnikov rifles uh, came in and they, they raided the party. And we jumped over the fence, over the wall into our house and everyone else followed us, all the guests. And they ended up, um, you know, escaping from our house, except for the, the host who had a seizure in our front yard. And uh, we couldn't help her because we had rifles pointed at us. And it was one of the most traumatic experiences of that, those days to not be able to help someone who is ill, who is shaking on the ground. And, uh, and I was like 10 or 11 at the time. You were um, so, Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I wanna get into uh, your current situation, but I can't even imagine like the post-traumatic stress and all that, the nightmares you brought. I, I mean, the fact that you're functioning so well, at least on the surface, I mean, in, you know, in light of the horror, is just truly remarkable. Um, mm. So please tell us then, let's fast forward a little. You came, it's a truly incredible story that the poetry is really what saved your life because it was your mother's poem that was your ticket to come to the U.S. So tell us about that story, please, how you came to the U.S. and what your family situation is and, and now and, and all that. 